here and I'm just going to bring you through um, part C of your experiment um, to investigate the acid base properties of the amino acid glycine. So I just want to show you how to draw the graph where you have the y-axis in the center of the graph with the NaOH going to the right and the HCl going to the left of the graph. Okay, so I've plotted the um, the, the data all already on the Excel um, spreadsheet. So we're starting off say 28 mils, we're going down to zero, and then we're going from zero, and then we're going right down to minus 28. We can ignore the minus figures for the moment. We're just putting them in to kind of get the graph set up right, and then we can change them in a second. I'll show you how to do that. And just make sure you put in the the correct uh, pH figures um, for HCl and the NaOH as well. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to highlight all the figures, and we want to go to scatter, and um, we want to go to charts, and then to go to scatter, and then we want to go to straight straight mark scatter. Okay, so we can see that we've created our plot, and we've zero in the middle. Now what we want to do is we want to um, we want to correct this because we don't want to be in minus mils. Uh, so to correct this, we click on it and it'll come up in a square box and then we double click on it again and sorry double click on it again and we go down to format axis so once we're on format axis then we go to number and we unclick this uh, box link to source and then we go down to number here as well okay so you can see here there's negative numbers so we can have them as minus one two three four or we can just have them in red as one, two, three, four. So we want to change them to red, one, two, three, four, and we want to re reduce the um, decimal places by two down to zero. Okay, so we can see that we've now changed the axis to having um, them in red rather than in minus. Okay, so the last thing that we want you to do, and um, which you have to do with all graphs, is make sure you label it. Okay, so we can pick this layout here. Okay, so what we want to make sure is that this side of the gra our graph equals to HCl. Um, we then want to make a text box, so we can insert um, a text box, and then we can have a text box on the graph here as well. So we can label this as the NaOH. Make sure you put a title in the graph, and then we can label the y-axis here as the pH as well. I hope this has been some help for you, and if you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you.